Hello everybody and welcome to day 18. I'm so happy you're here. Today we are working into our first really big balancing pose. So we're working our way into warrior three. So if you'd like, you can come close to a wall to maybe put your hands on a wall or um, lean up against a wall, or you can grab a chair and bring it close to your mat, or you can also walk over to um, your couch or anything if you need to put your hands out on something just to give you a little bit more stability in your balancing poses. With that, go ahead, grab anything else that you might need on, um, on your mat and I will meet you back here. Hello everybody, welcome to your mat. All right, so today we're gonna get started just in a quick child's pose to ground down and get connected with our breath. So you can take your big toes uh, to touch and your knees out wide, and bringing your forehead down to the mat or floor, you know, the pillow or a block here. Allowing your hands to reach long, spreading through all 10 fingers and pressing through our palms, sitting our hips back towards our heels. We'll just take a moment to experience the pose. Allowing ourselves to unwind and come into our breath. So wherever you are, let's take a big inhale together. So exhale wherever you're at in your breath cycle. Take a full deep inhale, sending it to your backside body. Exhale, release. Again, one more time, inhaling. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale. One more sip at the top. Exhale, ground down. Take this moment for yourself to set an intention for your practice or maybe even your day. To keep someone in mind throughout your practice that might need some positive energy or positive thoughts. And when you're ready, begin to cultivate your ujjayi breath. So sealing your lips and inhaling and exhaling out through your nose. Next inhale, we'll jump, gently make our way up into a tabletop position, rocking our hips from side to side. Then take some circles here. We'll all gently come back through center, taking our hands right underneath our shoulders, work into a few cat cows here. Inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts, hips lift, and then exhale. Pull your belly button to your spine, round in, chin to chest, tailbone tucks under. Again, take any organic movement that you need. Beautiful. Let's make sure that our hip, our knees are hip width distance. Let's walk our hands forward here. We'll inhale, shift our weight forward, and then exhale, shift our hips back so they're right over our hips. Taking this like modified downward facing dog, stretching from side to side, maybe making little C shapes with your spine, dropping one shoulder to the ground or one elbow to the ground to stretch out each side body and we'll gently walk our hands back in let's take this right leg out behind us spin it our heel down so our the back edge of our foot is grounded onto the earth and that inside edge is grounded onto the earth and our toes are pointing towards the right Bring your right or bring your left hand right underneath your left shoulder. Inhale, right arm reaches towards the sky. Exhale, right fingertips reach towards the front of the room. 
Big deep butt, side body stretch. You can kick this left leg out behind you like a little kickstand to keep you stable. Breathing down this right side body here. Pressing firmly through your left hand. Let's bring those right fingertips back up to the sky. And then if you'd like, you can open your chest, allowing your right hand to drop behind you. Gaze comes towards the ceiling and chest is opening up towards the right side of the room and up to the ceiling. So you're twisting from your right ribs up towards the sky, right arm falling open to the left. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, plant that right hand coming into your tabletop position with this right leg still extended. Press your right heel down towards the floor, a little calf stretch. And then we'll gently come back through center, lift this right leg, and let's try to find our hips here. So if your toes are turning out towards the right, you feel this right hip opening up. Let's turn those right toes down towards the ground and sink that right hip back in line with our left. Now I want you to remember that. If you wanna take a few more movements here, opening your toes to the right and then dropping them down towards the ground with level hips here just to feel where you're at today. And we'll gently find your tabletop, really pulling your belly button, pulling in those lower ribs to support your low back. Find your balance on your left knee and your right hand. Lift this left arm towards the front of the room. Inhale here, exhale, pull everything in, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, reach long. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, last one. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach long. Then exhale, bring your hand and knee back down towards the earth in your tabletop position. All right, coming into our left side, let's take our left leg out behind us and then spin our heel down onto the earth. Our left foot is planted firmly down and our left toes are facing towards the left side of our mat. Again, you can turn this right leg out behind you for a little bit of uh, kickstand and stability. Taking your right hand right underneath your right shoulder, inhale, left fingertips reach towards the sky. Then exhale, bring those left fingertips towards the front of your mat. Big, deep side body stretch here. Breathe. And then option, focusing on these lower ribs, can you turn them and open your chest towards the ceiling, allowing your left hand to fall back behind you? So really turning from your torso, and then opening and expanding, gaze comes towards the ceiling. We're breathing here. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, left hand plants on the earth and we're turning towards our tabletop position. So my uh, left foot is now back behind me in line with my left hip and my toes are flexed on the mat. Heel is reaching down towards the earth for a quick uh, calf stretch here. Breathing here. Inhale, we'll gently glide our weight forward, lift up this left leg, and then turn our toes out towards the left side of the room. Again, feeling where our hips are in space. Take those left toes, bring them face down back to the, facing back down to the earth, excuse me, so our hips are in line. And then open your left hip, and then drop it back down in line. Just noticing this subtle body movement. And remembering this for when we come into our balancing pose. When you've had enough of that, keep this left leg lifted. Again, belly is pulling in, our lower ribs are lacing in to protect our low back. Find your balance between your left hand and your right knee. Right hand reaches forward, take a deep inhale, lift. Exhale, elbow to knee, pull in. Inhale, lift and expand. Exhale, pull in. Again, one more time. Inhale, lift and expand. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, come back 
to that tabletop position, rocking your hips from side to side. We'll sit back on our heels, shake out our wrists here. Shake out our hands out in front of us. We'll take a few shoulder roll movements. So inhale, shoulders to our ears, exhale, rolling back and down your back. Switch directions. Beautiful. We'll gently come back to our tabletop position. Setting up for our first downward facing dog. Walk your hands one palm's length in front of where they're at right now. Tuck your toes. Take a big, big deep inhale. Then exhale as you press into the earth, lifting your knees up, hips and high towards the sky, finding your downward facing dog. And your feet are hip width distance, hands can be shoulder width distance or even wider. Finding your downward facing dog here. So again, slight bend in your knees, allow your hips to send high towards the sky, spine is lengthening. Our heels don't have to be touching the earth here, they're just working towards the earth. They can be lifted. Take one breath together. Exhale wherever you're at in your breath cycle. Take a full deep inhale through your nose. And then exhale, H A ha out through your mouth. Beautiful. We inhale, come high up onto our toes. Exhale, bend your knees, keep your hips high. Step or walk to the top of your mat. We'll inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, come all the way up to standing. Arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands come down by your side. Beautiful, just rerouting, grounding down, finding your um, Tadasana pose. So we're bringing those hips right over your ankles, shoulders right over hips, and your head is reaching towards the ceiling as your shoulders are dropping down, core is pulling in. And you're lifting and rooting through your feet. So those inner arches of your feet are lifting up off the mat as you're hugging your legs in. Palms come forward, fingertips spread wide. Again, engaging your core, lifting up out of your hips and all sides of your torso. Come back to your breath and your intention here. We'll inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step back. Option to take a vinyasa here, or you can press back into downward facing dog. I'm gonna lower all the way down to the ground, and then inhale, lift up, low cobra. Exhale, release. Tucking my toes, pressing through a tabletop. Taking an inhale here and then exhale, pressing my hips up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Beautiful. So in our downward facing dog, we're going to step our big toes together. Always the option to come down into a tabletop here for this hip opener. I'm going to lift my right leg towards the sky, bend my knee, open up my right hip, and take a few knee, uh, knee circles here. Again, finding balance between your back foot and your two hands. We're not trying to dump to our left side here. So we're really trying to center our weight and evenly distribute it. Switch directions if you haven't already. All right. So we're going to kick that right leg at, back out behind us. And then we're exhale, shift forward, bending our knee and bringing this right knee to our elbow. Inhale, shift back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Pull it in. Inhale, right leg shoots back. And then exhale, bring it back down towards the earth. Again, always option to drop in the tabletop. You can do the exact same thing there. 
Inhale, left leg lifts high when that right foot is in our center point again, evenly distributing our weight through our two hands and our back foot. Bend your left knee, open up your hip, go ahead, take some knee circles. Again, we're trying not to dump into our right side here. Switch directions. We'll come back through center, straighten out that left leg. Exhale, hinge forward, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend, leg reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, left knee to nose. Inhale, extend. And then exhale, bring that left foot back down towards the earth. We're going to take a deep bend in our knees and walk our hands back to meet our feet at the back of our mat. Taking our feet as wide as our mat here, let's set, reset our spine as we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Taking this into just a little rag doll, you can grab opposite elbows here or place your hands on the earth. Swing from side to side. <clears throat> Allowing your head to drop down here. Spine is lengthening, my belly is on my thighs, and I have a deep bend in my knees here. I'm going to inhale, slowly rise up to standing. And then exhale, I'm going to send my hips back. I'm going to bring my hands to my inner thighs here. My toes are facing forward. So I'm sitting back in like a half chair, half halfway lift, half forward fold. My elbows are out towards the side. I'm going to inhale, lift my chest. And then exhale, pull my spine under. So it's like the standing cat-cow. Inhale. Belly expands, chest lifts, chin lifts. And then exhale, belly button pulls towards my spine. Chin comes to chest, tailbone tucks under. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, come back. Flow with this at your own pace, with your own breath. One more round of breath here. We'll all come back through center. I'm going to take my fingertips so I spin them out so they're on the outside of my thighs. And then I'm going to take my feet out so they're pointing towards the left and right sides of the room. And I'm just going to shift my weight from side to side, lifting my toes up. Maybe straightening out my one leg and then the other, taking a deep bend in my knee. If those hands aren't comfortable, you can always bring them back to center. Coming on the inner thigh. And these hands are here to keep your chest lifted, but you still want to keep your core engaged if you're feeling any tension in your low back. We'll all come back through center. Inhale, lift through your chest. Exhale, hinge forward. Coming back into your forward fold, releasing any tension in your low back that may have built up there. We'll inhale, walk our hands back out, downward facing dog. Feet step back together at hip width distance. We'll inhale, hinge forward, coming into our uh, high plank pose. Drop those hips low. Option to take your knees down to the earth, or you can take an inhale here. Exhale, our halfway down chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog or low cobra. Breathing here, pausing for one breath cycle. And remember, in our upward facing dog, our legs are lifted up off our mat. Take another deep inhale here. And then exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. This time we'll inhale, come high up onto our toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands come to your low back. 
Inhale, lift through your chest. Exhale, press your hips forward, small back bend. Chest is still lifting, core is tight, protecting your low spine. Inhale, we'll come back through center. Reach those arms high towards the sky. And then exhale, sink your hips low, beautiful. Now we can keep our hands up here or we can take our hands down to heart center. Finding your chair pose, your feet can be hip width distance or together, whatever is more comfortable for you. And then again, you can bring those hands to your ribs, helping them pull in, belly is pulling in and engaging, protecting that sway in your low back as your tailbone tucks under. We're going to take our weight into our right foot, come up onto the toes of our left foot. And we're kind of balancing here on our toes. Now we're going to tap our toes forward. And then they hover. Tap in the center. They hover. And then exhale, we step back into our high crescent lunge. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, sink low into your chair. Or sorry, low into your crescent. Now we want our feet staggered here. Railroad track, not a tight rope. And my heel is over the ball of my back foot. Always option to drop your back left knee. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, cactus, open your arms. Again, inhaling, arms reaching up overhead. And then exhale, cactus, open your arms. One last time, inhaling. Exhale, cactus, open. Inhale, reach them high. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to frame this front foot. Option here, you can drop your back knee and step back into a tabletop, or you can sweep this right leg back behind you to meet in your downward facing dog. Regrounding here. Always option to come down into a child's pose or shavasana whenever you need to. Listen to your body, listen to your breath. We'll take another breath together here. So exhale wherever you're at in your breath cycle. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, H -A -ha. Beautiful. Again, inhale and come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of your mat. We'll inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Arms reach back overhead, and then exhale, hands come down by your side. Shake out our wrists here. All right, coming back into our chair pose. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, sink low into your chair. Hands come through heart center again, or they can stay lifted, it's your choice. Engaging your core muscles. Reducing the sway, tailbone is tucking under, weight is in your heels, and you can see and wiggle your toes. Chest lifts, inhale, exhale, sink low. This time, we're taking our weight into our left foot, coming up onto our right toes, balancing here. We'll take our right toes forward, touch the top of our mat, come back through center, touch right underneath us, lift those toes, hover them, hover them, hover them, and then we'll step back into our high crescent. Again, staggering our feet here. We're on a railroad track, not a tightrope. My back heel is over the ball of my foot. My front knee is stacked woo, over my ankle. It's okay if you fall out, come right back up. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, cactus, open your arms, lifting your chest to the sky. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Woo. Exhale. Cactus, open those arms. It's a little wobbly here. Always drop that back knee if you need to. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, coming back. Cactus, opening those arms. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Again, option here. Always can drop this back leg. Step your uh, left foot back to meet your right. When you're ready, sweep your left foot back to the back of your mat, coming into your downward facing dog. Again, reconnecting with our breath. Exhale wherever you're at. Take another deep inhale. And then exhale. Let it go. We'll 
Gently shift forward into our high plank. We'll drop our knees down towards the earth and lower all the way down to our bellies. Lifting up Sphinx Pose, we'll bend those legs, gently rock them from side to side. Legs come back down towards the earth. Gonna gently take our belly down towards the earth. Hands come in front of us. Feet come back to hip width distance, taking us into a quick locust pose. When you're ready, exhale wherever you're at in your breath cycle. Next inhale, everything lifts up off the mat. Breathe. Hands are reaching forward and exhale, bring them behind you. Chest is still lifting and take your gaze down towards the floor. Breathe. Shoulders are reaching down your back. Fingertips are reaching behind you. Another inhale. Fingertips come forward. And then exhale. Release all the way down to the mat. You can stack your hands in front of you, taking the forehead to the backs of your hands, or you can take it down towards the floor. Go ahead. Windshield wipe our legs. Release any tension in your low back. Come back to your center and press back. Take a quick child's pose. Again, reconnecting with your intentions, your thoughts, thanks, or love. When you're ready, gently come forward, making your way to your downward facing dog. <clears throat> when you're ready, inhale, come high up onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Arms reach up overhead. Then exhale, hands come through heart center, coming right back into that chair pose. Same thing again. Inhale, lifting through our chest. Exhale, sinking low into our chair. Option to keep your hands here, you can take them to your hips. Taking our weight into our left foot, coming up onto our right toes again. Let's tap our right toes forward. This time, swing your right foot out towards the right side of your mat, tap the outside of your mat. And then when you're ready, hover it behind you, hover, 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 and then touch down, coming right into our crescent lunge. Again, finding your footing here. Inhale, arms reach forward, and then exhale, hands come behind us, just like how we were in our locust pose. Shoulder blades are squeezing back, fingertips are reaching behind us, and chest is lifting, chin is slightly pulling in, gazing down at the floor. And finding your balance here. So we're making our way into our warrior three. If you want to take a chair out in front of you, or turn and come to a wall to lift this leg, you can. So whatever modification you want to take, go ahead, grab your wall or your chair or your furniture, coming back into this high crescent. Hands can stay back here or they can come to your hips. Again, trying to pour all your weight into your left foot. Gently step this right foot in a little bit closer, hinging from your hips, leading with that open heart. As you gently lift those toes, hovering them, hovering them, hovering them. Toes begin to flex back towards your face. And your torso is coming parallel with the floor. Maybe we're only here today lifting your toes. You can touch up and down, up and down. That can be your warrior three today. If you're all the way lifted, your toes are flexed back towards your face. And your hips are in line, just like we practice in our tabletop. We're pressing firmly through our back right heel. Chest is staying lifted and opening. Fingertips are reaching behind us. Breathe here. It's okay if you fall out, come right back up. When you're ready, inhale. Gently hinge up to Tadasana. Plant this right foot right next to your left. Arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands come down by your side. Ground down. Find your Tadasana. We root into the earth. Breathing. Beautiful. All right, left foot. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, sink low into your chair. 
hands can come to your heart center. And you can reach behind you. Again, practicing this chair motion. Now bring that foot. Bring your weight into your right foot now. Come up onto your left toes. Hands can come to your hips if you'd like. We'll gently extend our left foot forward. Tap the top of our mat. Hover, hover, hover. Come to the outside left of our mat. Still in that bent knee on our right leg. And then hover, hover, hover. Come it back behind us. Hips come back in line as we touch down into our crescent lunge. Again, finding your crescent lunge here, arms reach up, and then they come back behind us, getting ready to soar into our warrior three pose. So coming back to whatever furniture or a wall if you'd like. <clears throat> We're going to take our weight into this right foot this time. Hands can come to your hips if you'd like. Step this left foot forward just a bit, hips are level. Begin to hinge forward, keeping your heart open and your shoulder blades pulling back behind you. Begin to hover the toes of your left foot off the mat. Maybe we stay here, touching up and down. Hands can be on a chair or on a wall. Or you can begin to really lift that back leg up, hinging on the horizon. My torso is now parallel with the floor. My left toes are flexed back towards my face and my hips are level with one another. So they're squared off towards the floor. Arms can reach back behind me. Chest is still open. Shoulders are still pulling down. Breathe here. You got it. If you fall out, come right back up. Slight bend in your right knee here. When you're ready, inhale, begin to hinge up into Tadasana. Stepping this left foot back onto the mat, right next to your right. Fingertips are reaching towards the sky. Exhale, hands come down into Tadasana. Rerooting and regathering your breath. Focus. Hips come right over our ankles, shoulders right over our hips. Replant your roots. Slow your breath. Next inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, deep bend in your knees. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into a tabletop position. Making your way to a seated position. I'm going to take our hands behind us. Feet can come almost as wide as our mat. We'll just windshield wipe our legs here. From side to side. And we'll gently make our way down towards the floor. Feet come to the mat. So the soles of our feet are on the mat. And we're going to take our right foot up and over our left. Option to stay here. Right toes are flexed back towards our knee. Or we can lift this left foot up off the mat, interlacing all 10 fingers behind our left thigh. Left foot can reach towards the sky or stay, stay bent here. If this grip behind your thigh isn't accessible today, you can always grab your strap, a blanket, or even a jacket or something just to wrap around the back of your leg and give you a little bit more of an extension of your arms. And then you gauge the intensity. We really want our backside body rooted on towards the earth here. So my lower spine is completely on towards the mat and my tailbone is releasing down towards the floor. My right elbow is opening up this right knee as I'm stretching through this right leg. We'll gently come back through center. Plant that left foot back onto the earth. Hands come wide like a T. We'll take an inhale breath here. And then exhale, gently drop, slowly bring, not drop, our right foot down towards the earth, a block or a pillow coming into a twist. So the outside of my left leg is on the floor along with my right sole of my foot. Gaze can come up towards the ceiling. 
or over to the right side of the room. Inhale, we'll all come back through center. If you need to leave your arms, just kick your legs up back through center. Gently release that right foot. You can shake your legs out on the earth, or you can pick them up towards the sky. Give them a nice shake. Roll your feet, open and close your toes. And then we'll take our feet back down towards the earth. Knees are bent. Cross your left leg up and over your right. Coming right back into this reclined pigeon pose. We'll interlace all 10 fingers behind our right thigh this time. Our right foot could be stretched up towards the ceiling or it could be bent again using a strap or something behind your thigh like a blanket if you need a little bit more of an extension. And then you gauge the intensity here, pulling your uh, right knee into your chest this time. My left elbow is in the crook of my left knee, keeping this left knee open and my left toes are flexed back towards my knee. Again, my back is rooted on towards the earth, and my tailbone is slightly releasing down to my low back. It's glued to my mat. Shoulders are on the mat. That strap will also help you. So if your shoulders are picking up off the mat, and you have that strap wrapped around the back side of your right leg, it'll allow you to bring your shoulders a little bit closer to the earth and find a little bit more ease in this pose. Gently release our grip behind our leg. Bring your right silver foot down towards the earth. Take your arms wide like a T. Take an inhale breath. And then exhale. Gently come, bring this left foot down towards the right side of your mat. So my outer right leg is on the floor along with my left foot. If your foot isn't quite touching the earth or that right leg, you can always slip a block, a pillow, a blanket underneath to help you find a little bit more ease in the pose. Gaze can be up towards the ceiling or over your left fingertips here. Inhale, we'll all come back through center, uncrossing our legs. We'll take them up towards the sky and shaking them out. And then this is Yogi's choice here. You can take some knee circles. You can take a restorative bridge with that block underneath your sacrum. You can take a block underneath your sacrum and bring your legs up to the sky. You can take a happy baby. Whatever your body's craving right now, go ahead and take any pose that you would like. Again, this is your practice. You get to decorate it however you wish. So whatever your body is needing today. Maybe it's needing just to go into Shavasana right away. That's totally fine. Maybe you need one more child pose. Maybe you need one more twist. Maybe you need one more big morning stretch, whatever you would like. When you're ready, whenever you feel comfortable, if you're still taking your poses, switch sides if you need to. I'm going to leave you guys in Shavasana today. So I'll just take you guys on a quick guide into Shavasana and then 
Let you make your way whenever you feel ready. So I'm going to place one hand on my heart and then the other one right on top of that. Just real quick. So take two breaths together. Exhale wherever you're at. Take a big, full, deep inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. Exhaling out. Allowing your breath to return to normal. And really thanking yourself for taking this journey and finding movement today, taking time to come to your mat, taking time to take care of yourself, and taking time to love yourself. We often think of a big list of people that we love every day, and more often than not, we always forget ourselves. So really remember to thank yourself and love yourself today. And gently take your hands down by your side, making your way into your comfortable Shavasana. Gently allowing your backside body to soften down into the earth. Gently feeling the rise and fall of your belly. And every exhale, you find a little bit more ease. Allowing your front, by, front side body to soften down into your backside. Turning off any active muscles. Allowing your feet to fall open. Hips to relax down. Shoulders and neck to soften. And releasing any muscles in our face and releasing our jaw, pulling our tongue away from the roof of our mouth as our eyes gently close, and wrinkling our brow, and truly allowing ourselves to rest today. Letting any thought to just float by and come back later. Feeling a little bit of peace wash over you. As your belly rises and falls, like the ebb and flow of the ocean. In and out. here as long as you can today, really taking time for yourself. Thank you all for